It's one of his classics. So I just saw the menu, and anybody who knows me knows that I love movies with forks. So I had to see it. It's starring Ray Fiennes, Anya Taylor Joy, New Beast, and a decent no name ensemble with a bunch of actors I've never seen or heard of before. It was directed by Mark Mylod, who did a lot of TV episodes of Game of Thrones, Shameless, My Little Pony. I went to opening night, actually, so I got a souvenir. But the menu is about a group of wealthy gastronomical enthusiasts who take a trip to an island where an enigmatic chef, played by Ray Fiennes, prepares the world's most unique multiple-course experience. Margot and her overly enthusiastic companion enjoy the first few courses, but as the meal continues, they realize things aren't quite what they seem. The visuals, especially the food, were often gorgeous. The set design of the restaurant itself was simple and worked well, and the entire story could actually be structured like a play rather than a movie. It could function as a play, because there are only a few settings, some back rooms and the restaurant mostly, and a few outside shots, but it could work as a play. The acting from all the leads was excellent. Finds nails the obsessive genius. Beast has to manage a few turns in his personality that work as we go along. And... What's her name? Fish Girl plays the early aspects of her character and the thriller aspects with skill and precision. So early on, she has to do more subtle stuff with her character and the way she has to react and deliver in, in different ways. And then later, it, it's more, you know, reacting to the thriller elements of the movie. And she does that well, too. And it's great because there aren't many very successful, unattractive girls, especially in entertainment. So it's just Fish Girl and Beyonce, as far as I know. The script bites off a little more than it can chew, as the first third is way more enjoyable than the first half of the third third, and the second half of the second third is better than the first half of the last two thirds. As often happens with thrillers, once the initial tension is released, you sometimes don't have the momentum to carry to the end, and that happens somewhat in this movie. There are some themes in the movie that don't quite gel properly, and some unexplored ideas that might have made it more resonant with more mature writing. I liked a lot of what happened in it. They have a lot of characters in the way that they relate, and there are some connections that you didn't realize, and, you know, there are some setups with conflicts with different characters, and none of it is especially complex, but it does distinguish them from one another. And this aspect of it, the ways the different characters react to the different courses will set them apart in their personalities. There's just There wasn't a whole lot that was done with this. Sometimes you lose the particulars of character psychology when you overemphasize the basic mechanics of character relationships. The writers didn't really have the subtlety to explore that aspect, which could have been more interesting than the basic thriller aspects of the movie. Did she wear a bra? I can't remember if she wore a bra. Anyway, overall, I actually really enjoyed it. It was often very legitimately funny. Like, I laughed out loud multiple times in the theater, and the theater goers, the other patrons, they also laughed out loud. It wasn't just me. <laughs> they laughed out loud, too. While some of the outside shots were a little boring, most of it was beautiful. It was great to look at. Anya Taylor-Joy is on my watch list. You know, I've actually... I liked her acting in this. I saw some of that chess show, and she was pretty decent in that, but I think she's a legitimate actress out there, and I will be looking out for her in the future. And I can never get enough of Ray Fiennes. He's just uh, thoroughly enjoyable to watch. So if you're not on a diet, or uh, you want to meet a thriller with season... Just some fucking food pun. I'll see you later.